I'm just going to read something that I wrote. And I think that really, really applies right now. One in four Americans are diagnosed with mental illness. Anything from depression to DID, which is something I don't even know. I think it's basically what we call multiple personality disorder right now and beyond. Now, when people like Dr. Phil, when he said crazy people suck on moon rocks and power the moon, and Bill O'Reilly, who said that we need to um, ignore the those who suffer from severe mental illness, or the Reader's Digest, who put proposed that word, are you crazy or are you nuts? Or something something along those lines. Or DC Comics who made that joke about um, that, that contest with that joke of um, having Harley Quinn die by suicide. Or Brian Williams who said that the uh, Ohio kidnapper was arguably the face of um, mental illness come out with so stupid and insensitive comments. It doesn't hurt me. It hurts the mom suffering from postpartum psychosis who is tired of being the crazy one of the family and the butt of late night jokes. So she stops taking her meds and has a psychotic break. It affects a teenager who thinks there's no hope for her. And since she can't talk to anyone about the voices that she hears, she kills herself. It affects the people who are not strong enough to let those jabs of those foolish, foolish people roll off their back while they're trying to get the help they need. What we need to do as mental health advocates is we need to surround those people who are suffering from their diseases still and who aren't weak enough and we need to be those ninjas for them and we need to shout out enough enough world we are here and we are going to be respected how do we get people how do we get words like crazy and and insane and all that to be a taboo word come on talk with me how do we get those words out of the English language.